Hello everyone, this is Dan Fitch from ATF Gaming and welcome back to NASCAR 06 Total Team Control. Today, Expanded Race at California. Modified Race at Martinsville. Xfinity Race at UPS is what we are going to do today. Last episode, we had the Truck Race and the Xfinity Race at Daytona. We finished third in the Truck Race. Uh, 20th in the Xfinity Race, which considering we started last was excellent. But let's head off to qualifying at California and see how competitive this car really is going to be. Alright, here we are starting our qualifying effort at California here. Uh, this is really our first test to see how the car is going to handle and ha what kind of speed we're going to have uh, with this new car. That was not a good corner, but according to the speed it was. Problem is, there's going to be a bunch of cars there if we go wide in, in the race, so. Hopefully three and four might be a little smoother. I might let off a little bit more in one and two next time. And luckily, unlike some of the other games we do, we have two laps of qualifying. Still going to be a good effort. Seventh in lap one, so if we're not trending better, I'll definitely take that seventh uh, because of the inside lane starting position. If I let off a little bit more there, and that seems to really help it stick. That was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. If we can do three and four like that, we're definitely going to be getting a better starting spot. Alright. See what we can do here. Might not be a pole. But, okay, I'll take it. We're up towards the front. fourth. Not thrilled about being on the outside, but it works, it works. Hopefully we don't get trapped there for too long. Um, but yeah, let's head off to the race. Alright, starting on the outside, we also have two rivals right next to us in Newman and Edwards. So that is not going to help the situation. I'm surprised Shane Neal's not a rival. I swear we got into him towards the end of last season. Alright, slow start, but we did get to the bottom. Bobby Labonte's also a rival and will continue to be a rival. That actually caused a caution, surprisingly enough. I really didn't think that contact was big enough to cause a caution. But he just hit the, hit the wall at the right angle there. So our rival, oh, we got our teammate involved in that too, unfortunately. But our rivalry with Bobby Labonte will continue. Nah, too early to pit. We could try to pull some of the strategy that we pulled in the last episode of uh, last season, but not going to do that. All right, restarts. Restarts are still going to be a struggle. These starts are still going to be a struggle. That is for sure. Clint Boyer almost just clipped us. Okay. Alright, could have been worse. I believe Boyer is still to the inside. Yep, there he is. You got to be careful of that. If you drive it in deep, you might be in some trouble. Oh, I push up a little bit. It's going to leave, leave a window for him if you can take it. But she doesn't. But with that caution, we are going to pit pretty early, it looks like. Early on time-wise, at least. Not, not lap-wise. Alright, messed up. Boyer's definitely to the inside. Oh, he barely cleared me there. That was a little scary. Definitely pushed up there. I'm not sure if I want to loosen the car, however. I just need to be a little more cautious when we enter the corners. Five throttle. Yeah, we're going to loosen up the car a little bit. Never mind. With the extra speed that the draft helped us get, definitely pushing a lot going into the corners. We'll have to be a little more cautious with that. I even tapped the brakes a little bit there. Oh, wow. Yaley got a huge run there. Oh, and a little loose off for some reason. Sure, add another strange condition to my already ill-handling vehicle. 
Oh, and look who's behind us. Bobby Labonte. Okay. Saved it. I saved that somehow. Uh, people are starting to pit. Uh, we'll be pitting maybe not next time, but the time after that. So lap 9, probably, since we did have that caution. And we will loosen up the car just a hair. That corner was really good. Probably because I didn't have any drafting help. There's also some smoke. Might have been an incident getting on the pit road. But that corner felt really good. Caution. Caution. It's out. Let's see what happened, and then we will pit. Oh, looks like Mayfield lost his hood there. Okay, well that takes the green flag part out of pit stops. So we will be pitting now, obviously. As I assume everybody else will. Yep. Alright, four tires, full load of fuel, no repair, loosening up the car a little bit. Uh, yep. We'll confirm that. Hopefully we can get a good pit stop from the pit crew. And we can maintain or possibly even improve our position a little bit. Didn't have the best of pit stops at, no, that was the truck race, I believe it was, that we had a lackluster pit stop. So let's see what the Xfinity crew is capable of. So far, so good. Not seeing any of the camera angles that usually lead to a bad pit stop. Really good, really good, really good. Get me out, get me out, get me out. Looks like we maintained our position. No, nope, we lost a position because I don't know where the frick that guy came from. Also, some guys pitted before the caution, so that's going to benefit them tremendously. Um, so, that is definitely something to keep your eye on. Some front runners that were not there before. We are also three wide with somebody who hates us. Um, that would be Ryan Newman, who had a terrible pit stop. He was leading coming up on the pit road, so... We're all clear according to the crew chief, so I'm going to dive it in deep. Nope, he's not there, so... Or, we're not clear is what I meant to say. And Newman rushed us into the wall there. Well, not into the wall, towards the wall. I can't talk today. I, I can't talk on a regular day, either, so... I don't know why I single out today as a bad day. But... Let's see if we can maybe solidify a top turn out of this. That'll help our point standing since we did not have the best finish at Daytona. Oh, that'll help that. I'm actually going to draft with Newman here a little bit. Share draft. Maybe get some of the rivalry off of him. Oh, we're still tight, and it's only going to be worse once we... Uh, well... I, never mind. I don't know what my train of thought was trying to convince myself to say there, but it wasn't what I meant to say. Well, we're going to kind of slide in here in front of Kyle Busch. Got into John Hamilton. We're getting into John Hamilton again. Could have been a lot worse considering uh, the situation we were in. Oh, we're clear of Kyle, just barely. That could have been bad. Definitely Kyle's neutral use. I thought I got into Kyle a little bit last season as well. But who knows, who knows. Turn, car. Please turn. Thank you. Well, thank you to move into the inside. We'll show draft with Newman a little bit more, even though he doesn't seem to be uh, going down on the rivalry at all. We're actually going to get underneath Bush there because we had an excellent entry into turn three. Three and four seem to be the better corner. I just must not gain as much speed in three and four as I do in one and two, which is perfectly reasonable considering the front stretch is a little longer. Bush has got to run high side. 
she's still there, however. Oh, no. I had to overcorrect coming off the corner. Saved it, but we're going to lose a ton of spots. Oh, frick. And good old Bobby Labonte's here, too. Well, we were having a, an event, uh, a fairly uneventful race, that's what I was trying to say. Um, we were actually having a really good run with Kyle Busch there, but I uh, got a little tight off the corner and overcorrected and spun out. But no caution, of course. Alright. Hamilton is for 15th place. Oh, so much for that. Okay, just spin out. We'll get that one back. The 21 car. Both you. All clear, bud. Excuse me. All of the spinning out is making me sneeze, apparently. Yep, tires are worn. Not much I can do about that at this point. Bobby, are you going to hit me? Apparently not. Well, he's winding up. I don't know. Okay, that was actually a really good corner entry, but I'm going to get loose on exit and cause that. White flag is out, so save it, Aaron, please. White flag is out, no caution. No, I won't. It's the white flag, you stupid crew chief. I knew this was going to be a struggle, but I was hoping it would be a slightly less of a struggle. Let's get to the start-finish line, Aaron. Oh, God. That was miserable. That was miserable. We were running for, what, like 12 before all this happened? Morgan Irvin wins. I think he got some pit strategy help there. But we finished 32nd. Dang it. Dang it. Oh, we know these big traps are going to be a struggle for us. We know that. I'm sure the villain points went up. We lost prestige there. That's what you know it's bad. Let's head back to the menu. All right, qualifying at Martinsville. Let's see what happens here. Uh, hitting the curb is not going to help the cause. Well, it shouldn't. Um, even though we're still hovering on the pole. Oh, but this angle definitely won't help the cause. Alright. Sixth on lap one, so we definitely need to improve on lap two if we're going to have any hope of being successful. Starting on the outside line in this series is basically a death wish, if I'm being perfectly honest. Okay, it's going to be better, maybe. Alright, one position better. Exactly what I was hoping for. Exactly what I was hoping for. We got two teammates right in front of us. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to have enough to deal with. I forgot to do the thing. Uh, if your team can finish ahead of... I have no idea who those people are. Just going to put that out there. No idea. Okay, this is it. I forgot to do the adjustment I was telling myself to do. Oh well. Let's just have a clean start here hopefully maybe even help our teammate into the lead that would be beneficial not spin him out would also be beneficial never mind didn't spin him out so he's still here luckily luckily I didn't completely ruin his day so we're up in the second so that's a good start Hopefully we can get to the lead at some point here. Who is this guy? Lawton. It's not a guy who's usually up here, I don't think. But I could be completely wrong. I don't usually remember these things. But we're not really closing the gap on him either. Uh, we are pulling away from the guys behind us, so that's beneficial, but we really would like to win this race. 
if at all possible. We're right there. Let's see if we can leave this thing. I'm well aware of this, Mr. Crew Chief. I know we're right here. Uh, hitting the wall won't help. I could intimidate him a little bit, but I really don't feel like making a rival. I, I would love to do this cleanly if at all possible. And we are pretty close, but he's going to block the living crap out of me. But I'm going to do the old crossover. That was a beautifully executed crossover. Oh my god, that was a beautifully executed crossover. He was trying to block me high, or he was trying to block me low, so I went super high. And once he moved up high to block me high, I just crossed over and went right underneath and going into the turn. That was a beautifully executed crossover. But I will cut out here, maybe help out the teammates a little bit, and see you guys if anything interesting happens. Alright, coming to take the white flag, sponsored by Martinsville. Um, I went and helped uh, Beasley out. He was the only teammate who was really struggling. But then I came back to my car and I immediately blew the lead that my car had developed. But guy behind me just tried to drive it in super deep. I blocked and we're going to come away with our third consecutive win. Great teamwork. Let's keep this up. Floyd in third, Stanton in fifth. And then the other guys were just outside the top ten when I left them. So they should be doing well. Uh, let's see. So 11th and 12th. So beautiful. All five of us in the top 12 for a five-car team. That's pretty darn good. But, let's see. Yeah, we can do the next race uh, in this episode as well. So we'll head off and do that qualifying. I believe it's at UPS. So let's go. Oh, after we celebrate, of course. I forgot about that. That's another win for the happy dog and spirit, of course. And now let's go off to UPS. Alright, here we are qualifying at UPS. Made some changes to the car setup and seeing if it works. Might need to loosen the car up a little bit more. Our first short track of the season, so let's see what we can do here. If we can do that in turn one, I think we'll be in good shape. 13th on lap one. Definitely think we'll be better on lap two. Is it going to be a pole? Oh, just barely missed the pole. Great run, buddy. No, now I have to start on the outside. How close was it? Oh, my God. Okay, loosening up the car one more. No, not the front springs. Dear Lord, not the springs. All right, and let's head off to the race. That's never going to happen, Kenny Wallace, as much as I'm sure you would love it to. Also, is that Jeremy Mayfield on the pole? That's an interesting start, starting order, that's for sure. Um, I just would like to get to the inside as soon as possible. J.J. Yaley doesn't seem to care about that. Hi, Clint Boyer. Okay. Not the smoothest path to the inside, but it's a path nonetheless. Probably should go back into Kenny Wallace at some point today. I don't, I did not see where he's starting. Well, this car's handling pretty darn good, though, so I think we have a race-winning car. Just got to avoid the stupid mistakes. Pit Road is going to be an issue, and also getting loose off the corner. If that's going to keep happening, that could be an issue as well. So I'm going to pull out to a bit of a lead here before I even think about going to Kenny Wallace. Where is he? He is not in a good spot. Uh, so I'm actually going to go to him right now. Hopefully he's not on the outside of a giant pack. He's on the outside of a giant pack. Maybe his car is better handling than mine. That would be nice. No, don't go down pit road. Why is it every time I go to help a teammate, it always ends horribly. Okay, his car's even looser. Screw this. Screw you, Kenny Wallace. Alright. 
and my car lost what little of a gap I had. Thank you very much, car. We're a little loose off the corner, but as long as we don't get like super massive tire wear, I think we'll be okay. If we get tire wear, then we're in some deep trouble. But on the YouTube side, I'll cut out here, and I'll catch up to you guys when pit stops commence. Alright, coming in this time, bye. Along with a bunch of other people, it looks like. Alright, no repair, full service stop, not going to make any changes. Hopefully a caution doesn't come out, because we will fall multiple laps down at this short track. So hopefully we can have a clean pit stop and come out in a spot that making merging words there will make merging onto the track not as difficult. There we go. That's what I was desiring to say. All, right, all these guys. Oh, hi, dude. That's not going to help things. We're going to merge right now because I just saw Shane Meal trying to get on the pit road. Um, so that pit road is super, super treacherous to get on and off of. Now this guy should be a lap down. But we'll get our lap back uh, when we pass Shane Meal this time. So let's not get super aggressive now. Get our lap back before I start trying to make passes. Clint Boyer might be on our lap. I'm not quite sure uh, what, where he is in the grand scheme of things. I'm going to try to pass this guy now. He's not giving me an inch. I was on the apron and he was, on, he was pinching me on the apron. So not much I could have done about that situation. Again, not quite sure where Clint Boyer is in the grand scheme of things. Uh, he must be in second because we have inherited the lead. Everything has cycled through. And we only have a four-tenths of a second lead. So Shane Neal must have lost some time uh, during the pit cycle. And Boyer is now in second. And we must have lost some time because we had a two-second lead before that. And I blame that little collision that we had getting out of pit road, which was not of my doing because I don't have control of the AI. So... This might be a little harder than I had previously anticipated. Also, we're already getting loose off the corner. Uh, we led the most laps, so that'll be beneficial in the points department. And we're not pulling away from Clint Boyer at all. He is staying right with us, so we might not have a race-winning car now. We were definitely faster than Shane Neal and uh, Jeremy Mayfield, but Clint Boyer might have the edge on us. So we'll have to definitely see how that progresses. We also really haven't been able to pass any of these lap cars either, which is equally as concerning. The two cars have got to run high. Yeah, we're just kind of in a, a holding pattern here. I've not been able to gain any time on on the guy behind me, and I'm not really able to gain time on these lap cars either. I'm going to try to pass one now, finally. This is going to be harder than previously anticipated. Um, I would love it if you could block Clint Boyer. That would be fabulous. But you didn't, and Boyer almost passed me for the lead there as I go on the apron like a crazy person. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Alright, Aaron, we can't afford tire wear. Alright, Boyer's there. Boyer's here. Boyer's here. I would let him go if I were you, Aaron. Alright, so we lost the lead. But, at this point, I just need to conserve my tires. Uh, because, Lord knows, once... Once these tires start wearing, we're going to be in a whole world of hurt. And, um, yeah, that's not going to end well for us. 
Oh, God. Lapped car, get out of the way. Well, now Mayfield's here for a second. I at least want a second place finish. Stupid lapped car. Alright, so like I said, we're faster than Mayfield, but we're not as fast as Boyer, so... Fortunately, I don't think we're going to be making any progress uh, towards the lead without a caution and some good luck. But even if we get a caution, Lord knows we're terrible on restarts. So probably not going to be able to do much in that department. But if he gets held up by some lap traffic, which he isn't... Oh, God, no! Oh, God, I could not control that. Crap. Is it, is, now, we're in a situation is we're probably going to have a two-lap shootout. So this could either work out really good or really bad for me. I don't really know. Obviously not pitting. Alright, white flag is out, sponsored by, I don't know why this happens. Oh no, oh no. White flag is out, so there's not going to be a caution. Just make it to the start-finish line. We're not going to win, obviously. But a second place after all that, I will take it. I will definitely take a second place after it. Former teammate Alvin Shields in fourth as well, so good for him. Sure, Kenny Wallace didn't end up any anywhere. There's a video of our pit road collision there, of all things. But that is our best finish thus far in the Xfinity series. Let's head back to the menu and check out the points. Uh, see what kind of rivalry. Excuse me, what kind of rivalry we got? Some villain points there, but definitely got some fans and prestige. So let's check out the standings and see where we are. Oh, we, we got a guy mad at us as well. Um, I don't know. Again, I don't know what that uh, O motion with the arms is supposed to be. Two phone calls. One of them's going to be the failed challenge, and the other one's going to be the angry driver. Failed challenge. Check. Angry driver. Check. I know this game so well. All right. Get past the auto save here. Check out the standings. Uh, we've had a good race, a mediocre race, and a bad race. So we're probably going to be around 20th. I'd have to guess in the Xfinity series. Obviously, we'll be leading the modified points. All right, Xfinity points. We are actually 8th. Wow, I was not expecting to be that well. Um, we are 8th. Kenny Wallace is 22nd. Trucks, we are third. We've only won, run one truck race, and we are leading the modified points by a substantial margin. Floyd is in third. Walker's in seventh. Stanton's in tenth. And Beasley's still having a rough year. So, let's see what we got going on next episode and next stream. This will be the end of the stream as well. I'll do this charity race off screen. We will have a truck race at California. Great. And then Xfinity Race at Las Vegas for the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more content from ATF Gaming, be sure to hit that red subscribe button. It really means a lot to me, and I will see you in the next stream slash video slash episode, whatever you tune into next. Bye.